Hello everyone, welcome to Geeker Mag. The news that is recently trending in tech world is Skype is officially retiring in May 2025. If you have ever used Skype to chat with friends, make international calls, or even hold business meetings, you might be wondering what's next. What happens to your chats, your Skype credit, and most importantly, how do you transition to Microsoft Teams? Well, don't worry. I have done all the research, and in this video, I'll be answering the most asked questions about Skype shutdown. So let's dive in. Why is Skype retiring? First, let's talk about why Microsoft is pulling the plug on Skype after more than two decades. The answer is simple. Microsoft is focusing on Teams with remote work and virtual meetings booming. Microsoft wants a single communication platform, and that's Teams. It's basically their modern, upgraded version of Skype, but with more features. But here is the thing: this isn't happening overnight. You have got until May 5, 2025, to figure out what's next. And that brings us to the next big question: What happens to your Skype account? All right. If you're wondering, will my Skype account just disappear? The short answer is no. But it won't work the way you are used to. Here is what's happening: chats and contacts. Microsoft is gradually rolling out the ability for Skype users to see their chats and contacts in Teams free. If you don't see them yet, hang tight. It's coming. Skype web. Even after the Skype app shuts down. You can still access your account via the Skype web portal, but there are some limitations, which bring me to the next concern. What happens to your Skype credit and subscriptions? If you have got Skype credit, don't panic. It's not going to waste. You can use it to make calls until your next renewal period. But after May 5, 2025, you will left with two options: use the Skype web portal. You can still access your Skype dial pad through the web and make calls as long as you have credit left. Use Microsoft Teams. Inside Teams free there will be a Skype dial pad where your credit can still be used however if you are planning on buying more Skype credit that's not happening Microsoft has already stopped selling new Skype credit and new Skype number for new users can you still call landlines and mobiles a lots of people use Skype to call landlines and mobile numbers especially for international calls the good news you can still do this but through Teams free instead of Skype You will need to log into Teams using your existing Skype account to access the dial pad. So if you rely on Skype for calling, switching to Teams free is your best bet. How do I transfer my Skype number? If you have a Skype number, you might be wondering what happens to it after Skype retires. Here is the deal. You can keep your Skype number if you transfer it to another provider before Skype shut down. To transfer you need to contact your new telecom provider and request a number porting process. Microsoft has not announced a way to migrate Skype numbers directly to Teams. So moving it to another service is your best option. Make sure to start this process early to avoid using your number. What if you don't move to Teams? Now here is the big question. What happens if I don't switch to Teams? Your Skype account won't disappear overnight, but you won't be able to use the app anymore. If you don't back up your chat history before May 5, 2025, you could lose important messages. You may also lose your unique Skype username if you don't transition your account. So my advice is start transitioning now. Microsoft is making it as smooth as possible. All right. So now you know what's happening with Skype, how to transition and what your options are. I hope this video cleared up your doubts. What are your thoughts on Microsoft shutting down Skype? Are you switching to Teams or moving to another platform? Drop a comment below. And if you find this video useful, don't forget to like this video and subscribe the channel to get notifications about more similar videos. Thanks for watching.